How to use Blogger for Beginners, Simple Tutorial 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I bring you back yet another tutorial. I hope you all are doing great today. So what are we gonna be doing today? So I'm gonna be introducing you to blogger.com and what it really does and how you can use it to its fullest. And I'm gonna show you all the great features it has and uh, it's going to be very easy. I'm going to guide you through all of it. And by the end of the video, you're going to fully know how to use blogger.com. So let's get started. You're going to need to go to blogger. You're just going to write blogger. Once you write that, you're going to see blogger.com on the first link. So you're just going to click on that and you're going to get right into blogger.com. So this is the main interface of blogger.com. Publish your passions, your way. And over here, you can see there are different information that they've given you on their website you can see the developers the community you can go to the help center if you want to but yeah so let's get started you're gonna go and click on create your blog now once you click on that you're gonna go with any account i'm just gonna go with this one and you're gonna log in now once you log in with your google here we go now name your blog anything you can either skip it if you want to name if you don't want to name it for now but you can name it anything random. You can change it later. So for example, I'm going to name it, just name it test blog. I'm just going to name that for now. I'm going to go next and I'm going to do any address. What is address? Address is basically what someone will write. For example, if I want to keep an address, uh, let's say test blog one, two, eight, nine. So if someone writes test blog one, two, eight, nine dot blogspot dot com, then they will be redirected to my blog. So as we can see, this domain is taken. So we're just going to write any random text. For example, party uh, 67549. This is just for random. You don't have to make it this big. But well, once you've done this, this is your domain name. So you're just going to go on next. Then the display name that you want to show the people, you're going to write your display. I'm going to just do test blog and finish it. Now, once we finished it, it's going to do its processing. And once it's done processing, there you go. So your blog has been created. Now, from here on out, this is basically your blank canvas. From here on out, you're going to want to create things your way. So we're going to get started. Now, obviously, if you go and view blog right now, this is our blog right now. And you can see there's nothing really here. So yeah, we need to work on it. And as you can see up in the link bar, we have the domain name that we put in earlier. So yeah, we're gonna go back to here and I'm gonna walk you through all of how Blogspot really works. So what you're gonna do is first of all, create a post. So to create a post, we're gonna click on create plus new post. We're gonna give that post a title, for example, first test post. Now once we do that, we're gonna write whatever we want. Hey, this is my first test post I am so excited and once we write that uh, once we do that there are numerous amount of things that we can do over here we can uh, make our text bold we can uh, make it italic we can underline it uh, we can change its color for example I wanted blue so I'm gonna make it blue the text background color I'm gonna make it black and uh, wait let me just select this I'm gonna make it black now there we go so we can do that then uh, if we have different paragraphs, we can change it to that. We can change the font size. For example, I want it to be large. So wait, I'm just going to select it and then click on large. And there you go. It's become large. And uh, we can change the font type. If you don't like this font, we can see the HTML view. But I recommend the compose view. That's much better in this case. There's a strike through also, but that's not really very useful. We can insert a link any kind of link, for example, YouTube link and Instagram link, whatever link you'd like, we can insert that down here. For example, text to display is going to click link and you're going to put in any link, for example, youtube.com. Uh, and then you're going to do open this link in a new window and you're going to apply it. And the link is going to be right there. And we're just going to put it like that. Then we're going to go down and we can also add images. For example, if I want to add an image, I'm going to do upload from your computer. And once we do that, I'm just going to go and choose files. I'm going to go to my downloads and I have uh, a picture over here, which I'm going to upload right now. Now, once it uploads, it's 
and wait for it. There we go, it's uploaded. So we're gonna select it and we're gonna set it to however we want it to look like. So we're just gonna do that and leave it right there. And there you go, that's how it's gonna look like. You can add emojis, special characters if you want to. You can change the paragraph and you can add annotations if you wanna stand something out. Yeah, and that's basically it. So now, what the fun thing about Blogger is that you can change the publish date, which is an amazing feature. Okay, so what the good thing about blogger.com is that you can set any kind of date you want. For example, I can even set a date of, let's say, we can go back and we can keep it for June 2020. And I want it to be Saturday, June 6th, 2020. And once we do that, I can uh, make a permanent link for this if I want it custom. I can uh, put in a location from where this was published. Like you don't have to put, you don't have to tell them your original location. You can add different labels. And yeah, once all of that is done, now before publishing it, if you want to preview it, you can preview it. You can just click on preview post. And when it loads up, it's going to show you how it's going to look like. And this is basically what it's going to look like on your blog. So yeah, that's basically what I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and publish it. And we are going to confirm. And there we go. That's our first post. So that's how you create posts. And you can just create more and more and they're going to pile up on each other. And that's how you make the posts. Now, if we go on stats, what does stats do on the left sidebar? Stats basically shows how many people viewed, clicked, commented, whatever on your post. So it basically shows the views and stuff. So that's what stats does. Stats is basically tells the statistics about your posts and pages. If you go on comments, you can see the comments passed on by the viewers. If you go on earnings, you can see this is uh, one of the greatest features on blogger.com because in earnings, we can create a new AdSense account. And uh, what AdSense does is that Google basically provides us the privilege to put up advertisements. And what that does is uh, that just helps us make money which is a good revenue because then you can just make money by just making a few blog posts. If you go on pages, pages basically show the different pages you have on your blog. And uh, if you go on layout, layout is basically the art of your blog because here is where you're gonna change the theme, the layout of your blog, for example, if I don't want this here, I'm just gonna click on don't show this widget. I'm gonna undo that and there we go. That has been undone. You can add different gadgets. For example, if I want to add HTML JavaScript up here, I'm going to put it in the title HTML. Then I'm going to put in content, just write anything random and you're going to save it. And there we go. There's a HTML JavaScript added under up right above your about me. And yeah, basically this is how you change the layout and play around with the, the positioning of the page. Then if we go on themes, this is the good part because there are a lot of custom themes on blogger.com and you don't have to really create it yourself. You can create a custom one by just clicking on customize, but you can go with any of these templates. For example, I like this one. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to click on apply and uh, we apply it. There we go. New theme applied successfully. If we go on view blog, uh, let me just wait for that. And there we go. The theme has been applied. And if you just go over here, you can see that the first test post, hey guys, this is my first, I'm so excited, and here's the picture. And if we click on link, we can see that it redirects us to YouTube. So yeah, it this is how you basically change the theme. And in the right hand corner, you can see that here's the HTML we added, here's the task under which says hi. And yeah, basically, that's how you play around with your blogger page. Now, one last thing is I'd like to show you the settings. In these settings, you can, again, I told you in the start that we can change our blog title. So it doesn't really matter what you keep it in the start. And uh, in these settings, you can basically tell them what they're gonna see and what they're not gonna see. Here's the publishing address. You can send this address to anyone. Here's the custom domain you have, obviously. And uh, here is the HTTPS redirect. It ensures that visits to the HTTP are redirected to the HTTPS. And then in the permissions, uh, basically, this is to whoever you want to give permission to, to where's your blog. If, for example, if, if you want to give your blog to someone to customize and create, you can give someone else permission. Just put in their email and give them permission. Reader access, obviously, you can set it to public, private, or custom readers, whatever you like. You can invite someone to your blog. Post shows on main page, you can do this to whatever you like. And yeah, 
basically these are a few of the settings you can also change your email you can change the time formatting error and redirects if you want to change that monetization this is uh, related to the adsense you can manage the videos and content on your blog site feed and yeah that's basically about it and what reading list Reading list is just uh, the reviews of blogger.com from a while ago and tutorials regarding blogger.com. If you want to go and check these out, you can. But uh, yeah, that is if you want to. That's totally on you. So yeah, basically this is uh, mainly how you use blogger.com. I hope it was really easy for you and you have understood it by now. If you haven't and there is any issue, you can let me know down in the comments and I will help you as soon as I can. And yeah. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Leave a nice comment. Share this video. And yeah, I'll see you next time. So I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.